Billy here with Gilbert Travels. I am back today at SeaTac, but this is not any old day. This is uh, my first flight after the lifting of the mask mandate and walking around in an airport, about to get on a plane. Sans mask for the first time in about uh, 28 months since January of 2020. Today we're gonna be flying with Alaska Airlines on a non-stop over to Cincinnati, Ohio. And I'll show you what service is like in main cabin in an exit row here in 2022. Come along with me. First, we're gonna stop at the MX Centurion Lounge for some breakfast. I visit this lounge quite often, so I just wanted to update you today on what breakfast is looking like currently from the self-serve buffet in the small Seattle Centurion Lounge. Well, this is a small lounge, but as long as my luck holds, get one of these little boots, I'm always happy to stop in. Then we head over to the gate for today's flight on Alaska's ubiquitous 737-800, one of 61 in their fleet. The time has come. We are now boarding this flight to Cincinnati. Sands Mass. This booking was made close into the flight and the plane was quite full, so a window premium class seat never opened up for me to select. So I settled instead for a complimentary exit row seat with my One World status. It ended up being basically the same amount of legroom as premium class, so I certainly won't be complaining. Alright, so settled here in my exit row, mask free. Uh, gotta tell you, I'm happy to be here and uh, comfortable. Looks like I'll have an empty middle seat next day, so plenty of space to enjoy on this about four hour flight in the air over to Cincinnati. Really, the only two downsides are this seat does not recline and that it lacks a true armrest, having this small padded shelf coming off the exit door instead. Otherwise, this is your typical Alaska economy seat with a literature pocket, adjustable tray table, personal item pocket, and quite importantly, a very well-placed USB and universal power port. Many airlines could take a note on this one. Three hours and 47 minutes of flight time today. What promises to be a pretty nice flight. There's a good weather system over the Rocky Mountains of Wyoming and Montana, bringing some snow to the area. And then we're going to have to make our way around or we're over that. Other than that, we'll have some updates for you when we get up to our cruising altitude of 33,000 feet. For now, on behalf of the whole crew, everybody here at Alaska, we want to say thanks for being with us today and we're looking forward to a great flight. Here's the thing. I fly Alaska quite a bit being here in Seattle, their main hub, and I've done quite a few reviews on them but I just don't think it's easy to capture what's great about Alaska on a video. The seats don't look particularly special, they use a wireless bring your own entertainment setup, and they fly boring old 737s almost exclusively. But yet, if I have to fly in the back on any US airline with my One World status, I would pretty easily choose Alaska. Why? Well, I'd say the people and the experience. The crews on Alaska just seem to consistently care more than any other U.S. airline I fly frequently. While most U.S. domestic airlines are struggling to bring back fly on board, even for chips, Alaska has brought back fresh food and economy with three options depending on the time of day. This departure just barely was counted as a breakfast flight, but I chose their signature fruit and cheese plate available all day. These fresh meals are available by pre-order only, and here on their website, I really appreciate the thorough photos, descriptions, and nutritional facts. Not to mention the downright reasonable prices, in my book anyway, especially for the quality of the food served. I had my laptop out to do some work, taking advantage of the reasonable $9.95 full flight internet, and used the spare center tray table to collect my meal. Shortly after, the standard service cart came by with Biscoff cookies, as well as a complimentary chocolate, another benefit to holding status when flying on Alaska. This is really quite a spread, and I appreciate the added touch of these powdered lime packets for the drinks as well. A setup like this really doesn't make you mind riding an economy. Right. Well, here is your loop review in the back of the Alaska 737-800. Pretty much looks like you'd expect. As 
we cleared the cloudy western U.S. into the Midwest, a second drink and snack service was conducted as well. I mean, what really can you say about Alaska Airlines? Really comfortable planes. You know, the uh, leg room is really nice here in the exit rows. Even their standard leg room isn't bad. Their premium class is a great product. And such friendly crews to be uh, awarded with a free drink and a chocolate bar for my One World Emerald status through American Airlines. Even though I didn't get my premium class seat today, really shows a touch of appreciation and going above and beyond that I don't uh, expect or take for granted when I get into the skies. And it was a great chance to have my first maskless flight here in 2022. Stay with me for the rest of the descent down into Cincinnati. Made it to Cincinnati, another lovely flight there with Alaska. Uh, I felt quite good uh, going up there, taking a flight today without the mask. Uh, everybody, of course, make your own personal uh, comfort and healthcare decisions, but I've been quite happy to be able to get up in the air and uh, enjoy some more uh, comfort. So anyway, hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. Billy with Gilbert Travels, I will see you on my next flight. Please remember to like, comment, if you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be made aware first when more content is available. As always, thanks for watching.